Book Slavery and Freedom in the Bluegrass State, Revisiting My Old Kentucky Home, starts out by looking at the state song through the African-American lens. The book's editor, Dr. Gerald Smith, says the song has many myths. Beginning with the fact of, of, of Stephen Collins Foster ever visiting Federal Hill in Bardstown. Dr. Smith, a UK history professor, uses the song as a metaphor throughout the book as 10 other scholars write essays depicting African American experiences throughout the Commonwealth's history. But it'll also, without question, uh, uncover uh, a lot of material. The essays that Smith pieced together cover everything from slavery, the judicial system, voting rights, UK athletics, and black women's role in the Commonwealth. Well, there's uh, several chapters that deal with uh, the experiences of black women in Kentucky, uh, not only in terms of um, uh, labor, but also in terms of domestic violence that they were encountering within their own homes. As the book weaves toward the freedom side, it deals with African Americans seeking land and education. Of course, uh, just community building, citizenship rights, um, just the idea of being respected. Dr. Smith has been covering African American history for 40 years. His motivation for doing this book. Kentucky uh, has a really fascinating history, and so I want to get that history out to the general audience. And it taps into sports, telling stories that have never been told, such as how UK's Black Student Union played a pivotal role in recruiting African American athletes on campus back in the 1960s. Even to the point of, of holding protests and marching in front of Memorial Coliseum. Dr. Smith says this literature is for everyone and for all Kentuckians to look at their history through another lens. We think uh, Kentucky history. And, uh, and I think this book does that. In Lexington, Lucy Bryson, WKYT.